And welcome back. And I have yet another Chinese pen here. Received this in the mail. This is interesting because I ordered uh, this pen um, and then they said they didn't have it in stock after I had ordered it. And so I canceled the order, got a refund. And I went to the pen BBS on Etsy and bought a white version of this particular color, which I will show you in a second. And uh, then the original eBay seller said, oh, we've got the one you want in stock again. So I ordered that one. And I sold the original white one to uh, a friend on the Fountain Pen Network and sent that off. So uh, I was able to uh, get a Pen BBS pen, uh, the first one I've ever received, from directly from Pen BBS. And it came with a lovely box, incredible packaging, and uh, here is a pen BBS from an eBay seller. It comes in a little sleeve. And here's the pen. So there's no nice box, but look at that. This is not available anymore. This color is called Cedar. And uh, it is not wood, although it looks... Uh, like it's got sort of wood grain in it. It's almost like an ivory because ivory, real ivory, has this, these kinds of striations in it. This is a resin pen with uh, gold trim. This is a Pen BBS 308, even though the cap band says 266. So apparently the reason for this is this was the original model number for this pen, 266, and they subsequently changed the threads on this model from being on the end of, I think, on the end of the section to the end of the barrel. Uh, there was something about it unscrewing itself, and they changed the model. So they changed the model number to 308, uh, but still had a number of these cap bands that still said 266. So some of the uh, reviews I've seen for the 308 uh, go back a couple of years. So they've got a lot of these 266 bands because they haven't gotten through them yet. So again, it's a cigar shaped pen. It's very, very light. I just loved the look of this. Uh, I was disappointed when they said they didn't have it and I went and got the exact same model, but in what they call milky white. And I thought, okay, milky white, it sounds kind of boring. Well, it arrived, and I looked at it, and wow, it was, it should be called uh, uh, either abalone or uh, alabaster. I think it's more like alabaster. It's like a very uh, translucent kind of a white. And uh, I really liked it, even though I had already sold it to a friend. Uh, my wife looked at it and said, oh, I like that pen. So I ordered her one, so in about another week, I'll get the white one, and we'll do a uh, side-by-side -side comparison. But I just wanted to take a look at this. I just got it a couple hours ago. And you can see that the, the section is the same material. It has a number six size pen BBS fine nib which I believe I'm going to swap because uh, even though um, these pen BBS nibs are supposed to be very nice, I really can't do a fine. So I'm going to put a number six medium in there. It is a cartridge converter. I wondered whether it was eyedropperable, but uh, there is no place for a, a ring there. There's no metal. I suppose you could if you put a lot of silicone grease on there. When I looked in here, it looked kind of dusty. And I blew on it and a whole bunch, I mean, not just a little bit, but a whole bunch of sawdust, well, resin dust, came blowing back into my face. It was uh, surprising. It, had been, like it hadn't been cleaned out after it had been turned regular kind of converter but it's got an agitator and I thought well maybe it, turn, it unscrews because it's really in there tight and you pull on it it's got this 
little silicone or rubber or plastic. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's plastic. Um, ring on the end. And it fits right into the end of the feed very, very securely. You really have to push it to get it in there. So it's not coming out, which is a, is a good thing. Also, this nib assembly comes out, unscrews. For easier cleaning. And I believe that's just friction fit in there. So I'm gonna give that a try. But uh, very nicely constructed. The material just feels luscious in the hands. And I'm not that fond of uh, cigar shaped pens. I do like the, I've got a Moonman M600, which I really, really love. So I, I like the um, Parker Dual Fold uh, Pelican M M800 style pen, but this sits perfectly in my hand. The section is almost a perfect length. Could be a tad longer. You don't feel those threads on your thumb. And the number six size nib makes a, uh, a nice long reach to the page. And it's very, very light. The pen does post. And because it's so light, you don't really, even though with the length, that's a very long pen. Very attractive though, look at that. But it becomes a very long pen, it's slightly back weighted. You know, the center balance is back here. So if you like to post your pens, that posts nicely. It's, uh, let's see. Um, one and a half turns to get it off and I will clean it out and uh, ink it up I'm not sure what I'll ink it up with yet but I just thought you'd like to see it right out of the package what packaging there was pen BBS 308 some weights and dimensions and writing samples wait all right, here we are with some measurements. Um, I've put this my calipers on my Pen BBS 308 here and come up with the following numbers. So capped, it is 144 millimeters in length. Posted, and it does post very securely. It is. 165 millimeters in length and unposted it is 130.5 millimeters in length so it's a, a good size it fits in the hand very nicely it's very light and it is a very pleasurable writing experience I've written with it for a couple of days now. So as to the section, the section is 21.4 millimeters in length and it goes from 11.4 millimeters up near the body to 10 millimeters here at the neck and then flares out again. 10.8 millimeters. The body goes from about 5 millimeters down here to 13.3 millimeters in the center and then down to 12.4 millimeters. The weights for this pen overall filled with ink it is 22 grams uncapped with ink, it is 13 grams, and the cap weighs 9 grams. So when it is posted, it doesn't make a lot of difference. It is a very long pen when it's posted, but it doesn't back weight very much at all. 
I have uh, taken the original Pen BBS fine nib out and put in a Jinhao medium. This came out of my X450 and it's a very smooth nib, but I am using the feed from the Pen BBS. Um, and we'll do a writing sample in a moment. I thought I'd give you some comparables first. So there's the 308. And here it is in comparison to my Van Gogh, my Visconti Van Gogh. And here it is in comparison to Moon Man M600. And finally here is the Wingsong 3008. So, I have inked it up. I inked it up with some Dimene Bilberry. It's a wonderful ink that gives some really nice sheening to it. And I did a writing sample already with both nibs. Let's look at the stock nib that comes with it. So this is a, the Schmidt Fine. And as you can see with the wetness test here, it is very wet. Um, I'm thinking this is the feed that's doing this because when I replace the nib, it's very wet again. So it's not just the nib itself. It's uh, a fine line, yes, but it isn't as fine as, uh, say, the Moon Man M2. Uh, my Moon Man M2 uh, came with a fine nib, and it was very much thinner than this. This is sort of halfway between that fine and a medium. Then I replaced it with the medium nib from my Jinhao X450. You can see the thickness and the wetness, the wetness especially. But uh, what's interesting to me is when you look at, let's pull out here. I don't know if I can get an angle on this or not, but look at, uh, yeah, let's zoom in on this. This is the fine nib with this bilberry. And look at the contrast between this line right here and the color of it and this. This is the same ink just two different nibs, same feeds. They're both very wet and very smooth, but you see the color is purple on the medium, where it's, it looks very black. And I don't know whether you can see that or not, but there's quite a sheen in that bilberry, where I don't get the sheen with the medium nib. So I'm a little bit torn as to which nib I want to use in this pen because I like the thickness of the medium nib but uh, I'm really liking that sheen I'm getting from the bilberry in the uh, fine nib and taking that nib out wasn't that difficult um, I actually swapped it back and forth a couple of times while the pen was inked so this uh, converter takes a little bit extra force to get it out so you have to be careful when it is inked but you get that out and then I just put my little rubber mat on this and give it a twist and that whole nib section comes out and then the nib is just friction fit and it comes out with a little bit of a tug and I just tug on the shoulders here and here's the original nib I can get a close up on that there we go the original pen BBS fine nib and the Jinhao medium and they're a good match about the same size and of course I like this pen better 
was nibbing this pen better than in the X450. Lovely pen, the X450, but boy, nothing compared to this. This pen, I don't know whether you can see or not, get some light on this. There's a little bit. The chatoyants in each one of these bands, each one of the bands here sparkles. Beautiful pen. And very, very light. I'm going to be using this quite a bit. I've uh, carried it about with me today. And uh, it fits in the pocket very nicely. The clip is nice and springy. It's just, I'm just thrilled with this pen. So, as always, and that's all she wrote.